What's up everyone? Welcome to another episode of the Fly Daddies. Today has been another crazy day. Look at this. Oh, okay. Yeah, like I've been saying, it's been crazy today. We're gonna finish this up. It might be a little bit weird of an intro, but it's been another fantastic day. Oh yeah, in some awesome and crazy conditions. And it has these fish fired up. It's looking like he's on that line, but it could be a whole different fish. I, that's a whole different fish, yep. See what I mean? It's a little crazy today. Enjoy it. And let's see what we got going on here. Oh, never mind. That one got off. Whoo, he's darting over. These fish have an eye for those other lines. Luckily, most of them eventually swim out of them. But, man, this has been awesome. There was a little bit of a break, and I was actually thinking about moving. And that's usually what happens. And another one comes in. I don't think this is as big as some of the fish I've been catching today. Whoo! That was not planned in any way, I promise. But it's free country, you can believe what you want. Oh man. I'll say this a lot in uh the fish previous to this it's kind of all out of order right now uh, it, the dam is in spill conditions like we've had we had rain sunday into monday a lot of rain and now it's thursday and they're still spilling water out of the dam uh they've got all their units running and they're spilling water and it's been crazy just so much flow i think it's seventy-five thousand cubic feet and uh just so much debris coming down the river um, but it hasn't stopped these fish from wanting to feed apparently they don't care how strong that water is if there's current that's all they need but that just means i gotta fight the current eat all that much more fight these fish longer and fight, fight the giant logs that have been floating down the river and getting into my lines That's a good fish. Oh man. Whew, yeah, man. It's nuts. Absolutely nuts. Oh, I love this river when it's hot, man. It's crazy. A lot of times you come down here and you don't catch a thing or just one or two fish, but there's also a lot of times like this. All right. It's a terrible angle. Hold on. All right, it's still going. This one's going. Wow, everything's working, but solid fish probably 19 pounds i'll give them i don't know but uh man this is just a, a on the smaller side of what i've been catching today i hope you guys enjoy oh he bit my finger it didn't hurt but i went to throw him and he bit and almost took me with him but uh if you thought that was a good fish today has been on fire just stay tuned i think you're gonna enjoy it thanks for watching like to see a little bit more rocks in there wherever i'm finding rock well, there's some off to the side there wherever i find rock i find fish i don't know what that is but that's a big mark it's a big fish it's probably a catfish or it could be a striper but i think i'm gonna settle up in this spot see that big rock he's hiding behind 
All right, with all this crap coming down the river, I'm not gonna cast too far wide, nor am I gonna have them super far out either. Uh, it's gonna be a battle to get these, these fish in. Also, there's a lot of scattered rock behind me. So, I don't wanna have a lot of line out and get it snagged. Is that, oh, that just sucks. So, let's see what happens here, hopefully. The bite's still good. Just the craziest amount of current I think I've fished down here. Um, I've probably mentioned it in the intro, but the dam is in spill, spill conditions. We've just had a lot of rain lately, and it's, uh, it's definitely showing here. See what I can do? I'm up in the thick of it right now. I, I may go back into some protected stuff, though, uh, if this is just too much. We got some big stuff coming down river and I gotta make sure it doesn't get on my anchor. Can't get too invested in YouTube today. I keep my wits about me. I got a float on this and on another line. I don't know if that's a good idea today. I don't think it will be, but we'll see. Not in this area. Getting some bites. Give me those bites. Oh, that one's going now. Uh, oh. Little bit of swaying, but not much. That, they're definitely bites. Now they let go. It's weird how they come in almost like schools, even though it's kind of spread out. That one's coming back. Try to get it again. Doesn't look like a monster. After that last one screwed up, yeah, it got off... I'm gonna let them take it. All right, easy. You guys can spread yourselves out, you know. That one's on. And that one's not, okay. I'll leave it in that area. Is he gonna stay on though? The question, I think it's gonna be the other day. I think today it's gonna be impossible to know if they're okay sized or big. I think we'll know if they're monsters though. This one, I mean, he's he's swimming around, so that's that's not a bad sign. Wow, the one behind me still on too. That's crazy. I think it's going to warm up enough today where my cameras won't have a whole lot of issues. I mean, the one on my chest should be fine, but I'm going to try to set up some other cam cameras and. They don't like the cold because they got the old style batteries, but uh, I should be all right in another hour, especially with the sun. Yeah, this one looks decent though. It's just gonna be a battle to bring them in today because blue cats are masters of using current, especially when they want to be contrary. Some of them will swim up for you, especially the big guys, but the medium and smaller size ones will just spin and curl their body. Now you get any kind of flow, man, it's just miserable trying to fight that. The good news is they'll have plenty of time to burp out. Although I'm only fishing 27, 28 foot of water, so they shouldn't have to burp out. Come on, dude. That's on a rattle. And it's, somebody was asking about these in the comments. They have uh, like these propellers kind of on them and it's meant to i think to spin around in the current and uh well we got plenty of that today so that's probably making tons of noise down there come on fish i think i'm gonna grip you really should keep my net closer to the back here got him by the leader i lost one this size last trip my leader flipping it so i'm kind of gun shy get a hook point through oh man, oh, man that was embarrassingly long hey this is a pretty decent starter fish here <laughs> not a monster by any class but a really nice starter fish <laughs> i'm fishing it's 40 degree water it actually came up a little bit since last time I was down here because of all the rain we got. Um, the, you know, the air temp's been really cold lately. 
but that rain still has it somewhat warm. Later. All right, good to see they're biting in this stuff. Not exactly on fire, but they're biting. So let's see if I can keep pulling them out and I'm gonna explore. I don't think this is the, the best spot for today, but um, I had to try it. Okay, I, I didn't know if we were swaying at first, but nope, we got a fish on here. Oh, first fish on this reel. Brand new PC fun. It's the black edition. Same reel, just all black instead of with the blue accents. Oh man, this thing's heavy. Woohoo! We got ourselves a good one on here. I think he might have got into something too. Either that or he's just a freaking toad in heavy, heavy current. Well, strap on in, guys. It's going to be a while. And this one. Shut off. I don't know why that one keeps doing that. I just hope this guy stays down. It, looks, it feels like he's trying to come up to the surface. And that's never cool. Yeah, I was just recasting all my lines because I've had some bites. and I, Some of them didn't have bait on them. And there's a lot of debris coming down in this this flow all this you know this this flooding stuff so i've just been changing the lines but man this thing even without the current would be a big heavy strong fish oh man this is a battle here glad i got fresh line on hopefully all my knots are good yep that's a big fish i would really appreciate if you swam back the other way and not right up through all these lines I already got enough to fight here. I don't need to fight extra lines. Yeah, he's barely under the surface. These fish are not helping me out today. This looks like the thing I marked. Now, that was a while ago. I can't imagine that same fish is still here, but it definitely looks like the fish I was marked. Oh, cool. Now I'm bringing up another line, I think. I don't know. Oh, yeah, he swam forward a little bit. I gained a little bit of line here. He's digging in. He's digging in. All right, let's bring him around here. Yes, this is a good fish. Let's see. Can I get it through here without getting tangled on this dangling line here? Probably not. Well, there he goes. He's diving. He's diving. I have no back anchor to worry about, at least. Yeah. This is just not helping me today. Stay on. It's not. All right. Well, it's just this camera right now. Woo. All right. He's up. Oh, yeah. That's fat toad and a good hook job sweet yes that feels good to get this guy in <laughs> yeah that's a hog man let's see if this stays on now all right you didn't get to get many angles on this but i just landed a freaking toad in some really strong heavy conditions i'm gonna get a weight on him man you look bigger than that all right well that's why i went i thought he was bigger than that he was 30 in the net so i'll give him 28. <laughs> but man this is going to be a struggle today, fighting these fish. I, I, it's a struggle I'm willing to have, and it's a good struggle. But this guy fought me for so long. <laughs> but yeah, good stuff. Get him in before another one takes off. Woo! Well, that's fun. Got an entire tree on my line out there. There it goes. 
Here comes another. It's a crappy deal with fishing after flood like conditions. Oh, that just went under the boat. Come on, get around it. Think we're in the clear? You on? That's that crappy piece I threw back out. I think it might still be on. I think it's swimming up or just sitting there with it. Yeah, he's still on. All right. Oh, yeah, that's bigger than that last one. That's no channel cat. That's no channel cat right there. Yep, that's a solid fish. <laughs> Stay on, boy. I'm having to tighten the drag a little bit just to get them in. I don't, I don't know if he's the hog I had earlier, but he's uh, he's definitely a big, decent sized fish. Maybe not big, but decent. And just dancing down there. <laughs> Won't choose a direction. Yeah, he's like a couple feet under the surface, just spinning circles. Oh my god, I think he just opened his mouth. You see my line? I, you probably can't see it with the GoPro. He's just doing barrel rolls. They do that. They just curl their body and the, the water just makes them spin circles. Bringing in a propeller. There he goes. He's swimming. I just gave him a bunch of line there. Yeah, every, every fish is going to be a battle. I wonder how many times I'm going to say that today. This is a situation where, you know, a 30 pound line may not be a, a great choice just because of so much resistance. And you got to crank your drag down, you know, so a head shake could break it. But this is not a very common situation for me, so that's all right. I'll take this random situation to keep the 30 pound. I'm going to just cut that part out because that was some weird talking. Just got to walk him in. Yeah, he's a good fish. Oh, he's bigger than the first one. He's got some spots on him too. Oh, come on. That's a good fish. In the net. Yeah. Woo, it's like wanting to rip this net right out of my hand with him in there. Now I gotta fight the net. Yeah, that's a good fish. All right, man, these fish have freaking shoulders today. He's just tall. And I'll tell you what, this this rattle, has that caught three fish so far? It's caught at least two. I think it's caught three. Helicopter man decided to come in and ruin my conversation here. But yeah, these rattles definitely seem to be produced. And I only got two of them on. And I've caught at least two fish on it. I think three. Awesome. All right, hopefully you guys aren't blinded by the sun here. 22 pounds. <laughs> it's got some cool black marks on them here. Check that out. But very unique fish. If I ever catch him again, I'll know it. Uh, with those, it's got like three spots right next to each other on its head. Cool. Man, that water is so dirty right now. I haven't been throwing massive chunks of bait at him. It's actually been fairly, fairly small or reasonable sized baits like that. And yeah, here's that spinner or that rattle. I mean, it rattles quite a bit. I'll try to link them in the video in, in the comments or what the description. There we go. YouTube talking. You know, I'll link uh, these things in the description below. 
I think you get a six pack of them. Wow, what a cast, what a cast. But, yeah, Amazon sells them like everything else. And at least in high current situations, they do seem to be making a difference. Normal situations, who knows? But I don't think they actually hurt. So that's a good thing. But I'll probably spend another 15, 20 minutes here and then move maybe another area, another spot in this area and then try to do something completely different. I got some time today and a little bit more bait. All right, here they are. The X Fishman catfish rig rattles and they're now louder than ever holy cow well can't argue with that marketing um very chinese company maybe if you can you can find some american company that makes similar things but the, it's the first time i had seen them so i tried it and i like it so far going on over there hey look at this oh this guy's angry. Ugh. <laughs> Freaking head shake galore over here. I was just taking my jacket off. And this thing saw its opportunity. <laughs> Tell you what, every takedown looks huge today because they just take it and start curling their body and then bam, we got ourselves a takedown. Yeah, yeah, swim towards me. There you go. Look at that, man. He just flew forward here. That just saved some time. This is also a new reel. I had an issue with uh, the oldest reel I had uh, from PC Fun. And I think I got that back like 2018 or 19, maybe 19. And, uh, you know, I tried to get a replacement part and well, they don't, they don't sell replacement parts. So that's one big negative against these guys. They don't supply it. And since it was on a warranty, they didn't give a free replacement, but even being that old, I was able to get a brand new reel for 30 bucks and I'll probably be able to fix that old one on my own. Um, so that free shipping, 30 bucks, uh, got a brand new reel. It's not ideal i'd like to just replace or fix the one that i have but reels this cheap i don't think it's worth them keeping spare parts so you know pluses and minuses there but pretty stoked i got a whole new reel out of it and i got another one for parts or i can fix it it's just it's kind of grinding around the level wind But they were very responsive, you know, had a new reel within a week of starting the process. So, good things. I'm not sponsored by them. I've had a couple people ask. No one sponsors a channel this small. And I don't try for it. Man, I am just struggling to net this guy. I'm talking having a whole conversation meanwhile i'm looking like a fool <sighs> Whew, i fall in there today even with a life jacket i'm done there's no way and i got a life jacket on and maybe maybe i'll survive but i'm just gonna keep my wits about me well I'm not going to weigh this guy. He doesn't need it. He's probably like 18 or 19 pounds. Solid fish, man. They just keep coming. I, I've been planning on moving here from here, but why? Why would I do that? You know, don't leave the fish. I like to have good content for you guys where I'm not just fishing the same spot the whole time. That has happened quite a bit recently, though. And I apologize, but man, the fish have just been so consistent in these spots so it's like man i just can't leave them i uh, hope you guys understand it is not too boring but uh, like i said 
it not boring for me because look at this that's on the head chunk let's see does he have it i think he, he doesn't have it we're gonna leave that right out there man wood chipper man is just having the time of his life with this uh recent flood man there's just logs all over the place listen to him go over there i think that's what that is every once in a while you can hear it throw something in throw something in and it just grinds it right up so i'm thinking that's what it is hopefully it's far enough away that that's not overpowering everything else in the in the video because i don't think he's going anywhere anytime soon i may have to All right, all right. Okay. You guys got a pretty good view of that. Right. Oh, he's just about to start reeling things in, too. Maybe I'll give it another five minutes. It's been a lot longer than I wanted to here. is doing the dance down there up there I guess most of them are coming up to the surface oh yeah yeah come on up come on up come on definitely less fun fighting a fish in this stuff I gotta say it's you're fighting the current, you're not fighting the fish. There's no reason for a fish that size to be that much of a struggle. It's not bad in any way, it's just... It's a struggle today. But, I'm catching fish and I'm happy about that. Alright, there he is. That little fish fought that hard. Oh man, I got like a whole island of tree coming down. Ooh, I gotta be careful. Yeah, nice fish. It's been a good day so far and I think it's gonna keep on being that way. Um, yeah, stick it out another five minutes here. Okay, all right, new spot. Just got them all cast out and something's hungry. All right, all right there's the familiar bridge in the background. But I promise you, this is a new spot. Uh, you can see I'm pretty close to shore here. This is a, a 40 foot hole I'm fishing, between like 38 and 40 foot. And there's a big group of rocks. I don't know if I got anchored exactly how I wanted to on them, uh, but I didn't mark a lot of fish, but it just looked really good. Uh, over there is where I normally fish. Uh, they're bigger rocks and it just holds a lot of fish. This is a channel cat, not a good start. At least to come up easy that's a clean one too if i was going to keep a channel cat that'd be the one no bumps but whatever it'll go back there's life in this spot but not the kind i'm after is that a fish or is that just us swaying that's just us swaying us me and you too oh, the current just seems stronger on this side for some reason oh know what it is oh whoa that just cast that one back out whoa okay hammer town there is a stick on it i was like ah oh, it's just a stick and then it just kept going that is no fish that is not a fish that is a heavy or that's that's no stick that's a heavy heavy fish what am i saying i'm so excited i'm saying gibberish over here Woo! I think I just got the takedown camera on too. Nice. Hey, this spot is actually pretty cool. 
Oh man, this thing feels heavy. What's that over there? Is that a fish? Nah, it's crap. There's all kinds of debris coming down right now. They must have opened up another gate or opened it wider or something. Trying to, there's so much, you had to drive across the dam to get here and there's so much debris on the upper side of it. I'm sure they had to clear it out every so often and my God, this thing feels heavy. But he's definitely fish. He's definitely a fish. Unfortunately, he's swimming to the top and not to the front of the, towards the boat. Yeah, this is the one that just caught that channel cat. I just cast it out. He must have hit it just as it hit the bottom. Oh, we got something big under the boat here. And it's not a fish. I got a log stuck on my motor. Oh, I'm right in the debris field here. Look at that. This spot's pretty cool, but look at all that crap coming up. I'm right where everything's directed over to. I don't know if I can stay here. Oh, that is a freaking big fish. Oh, that's a fish. I was thinking I had crap stuck on there, but there's a fish on it too. I think. It's so hard to tell. There's so many big logs. That's acting like a fish. Oh yeah, that's a big fish swimming up river. Look at it go. I don't know which one's bigger. That thing looks huge. Loosen the drag just a little bit. I can't stop fighting this one. Look at that, guys. Oh my God. I loosened it a little bit, but he's ripping that drag. Ugh. Oh my God, this might be the spot here. Let's turn this around. Oh man, this is a heavy fish on here. This is crazy. All right, well, I'd say this is a good spot. And maybe when there's not so much junk on here, I'd love to come back and fish it again. I'm just dragging this pretty good sized fish in. I may end up losing him just because that looks big, whatever it is. Oh, cool, he got off that line. I didn't think so a chance. I mean, he's, this dude's not a monster, but he's a good fish. Come on, get in the boat. I'm gonna I'm gonna try to grip this one because I think I'm gonna need the net for that. Oh man, now I got a log on it. I hope that doesn't knock that fish off. Oh yeah, this is a good fish. This is a good fish. Come here. Mm, he opened his mouth for me. Nice. All right, you stay in here. Let's see what I can do here, guys. Turn this back around. This is not a good situation to be in now. That fish is probably off now that that log's on. I don't know. I'm hoping I can spin that log enough that it comes off. And that my fish is still on. I can't keep fishing here though, unless this, it looks like the debris may clear out soon. That fish is still on there. What a crappy situation now. Yeah, I see him behind it. It looks like the line might be stuck on it. It's probably gonna rip. He's not as big as he was looking. All right, cool, he got off. He got off the, the log. All these have stuff stuck on them. And there's my other fish. All right. Wow, this is chaos in both a good way and a very bad way. Look, and I don't see any monsters that would drag me under if it got stuck on my anchor rope, so we're good for now, but plenty to get on. Oh man, what a mean fish. Plenty to get on my lines, that's for sure. Whoo, this is bigger than the one in the boat for sure. Hopefully my line's not all torn up. Ew, I'm gonna lose that GoPro, I gotta be careful. Look at all that crap on there. Whew. 
Man, guys. I like this spot. I just can't fish it today. I don't know. Maybe I can. Honestly, it's looking like it's going to clear up here in another five or ten minutes. Just gained a bunch of line on him. Oh, man. Oh, something big just hit my boat. Yep, that's a good one. Come on, yeah. Swim up here. Okay. Firewood coming down the river. Oh yeah, he just swam right up. He's holding his own right here in all this freaking current. That's crazy. Let's see if I can bring him up and get him. No, I need to reel down one more time. Oh, that was too far. Ready? There you go. Whew. Got the net up just in time to get away from that big stick I'm trying to get in. Uh, uh. Yeah. Woo, that's a hog. Yes. I'm going to lose all my lines back there. Yeah, that looks like about the end of it though all right i've got a lot to take care of let me get these clips ended Whew. all right got the line somewhat figured out this dude's still in that that guy's hanging out i guess i'll do that one first he's been out here forever man that wind's really picking up i hate that at least it's blowing the right direction dude let go what a girl bite force this fish has I love rolling those circle hooks out All right, hopefully you can hear me with that wind blowing ah. oh. oh is that a fish? Uh, I think we have a monster on, I'm not sure. Yeah, that's a fish. Oh, that's bigger than the one I got in here. Oh, I can hardly budge that guy. Uh, I'm gonna leave him on. I got a giant stick on here. Uh, yeah, it's just hard to call that a stick. All right. Get this guy out of the net then. Um, I'm gonna leave him on for a sec. He looks like he's he's been on there for a while. I think he's just staying on. Maybe wear him out a little bit, but here's that first one. Getting him back in. Get you in this boat here. Maybe. Woo! What a mess. All right. I think I can fight this fish finally. Oh, that log got on there. I thought I pushed it out far enough. Oh no. He, look at, oh, he's up at the surface all the way out there. Oh, that sucks. The only good thing is it looks like he's gonna avoid that log. Oh, I'm getting worn out here. Man, what a crazy set of circumstances there now there's not a stick in sight hardly well comparatively oh man Woo, what a hammer oh all right i gained some line on him at least I would normally hang that fish over the edge in the net while I'm fighting him, but I think it would rip my rod holder right off with this flow. Oh, I'm getting hungry. Yeah, swim up here, fish. Swim up here. Don't tell me. There's no way you got in that line. That one's acting up. Woo! I'm looking brown. Maybe it's just the water running over him. Oh yeah, swim up here. 
All right. All right, y'all. What a freaking spot here. The hogs are up here feeding the day. Whew. Can't believe they're still this active in all this current. Man, I got twins on. Yeah, that's a whole other fish bouncing. Oh, putting my gear through a workout today, and me too. He's mad and down there in the bottom of the boat. I don't blame him. All right, now I gotta walk the dog. You can help. I'll make it quicker for you and your buddy. He's at least as big as the one in the boat. Looks like a giant male. The struggle. When they say the struggle is real, they've never seen this before. Oh, I lost everything I just had. Adjusting that camera. Swim up here for me. Sweet. There is a stick in here. <sighs> got him. Got him. I don't know how, but I got him. That must have been one solid hook set, guys. Woo! Whatever's on back there is really trying. <sighs> mm. <sighs> oh, yeah, that's an upper 30s all day. Now that is what I'm talking about. Holy moly. Scale's getting a workout today. 35 in the net. Wow. He looks bigger than that. Alright, let's see if I can get this guy up. There we go. So oh. This is the first of the two big ones. Uh, he's probably flirting that 30 pound mark, upper 20s. Really nice fish. Obviously fought super hard in this stuff. But I'm gonna get him back in because he's been out for a while. Let's torpedo it down. Because I got a bigger one. Oh yeah. I think this is the biggest of the day. Just rolled on me. You jerk. Whatever, I'll get slimy. 35 in the net. Let's call him 33. Really solid fish. <laughs> yeah, I hope you're, this isn't silhouetted here with that, that sun. Man, what a beast and it fought me so hard. This struggle, man, is absolutely insane. Luckily, one of the, the, very, the problems is gone now. Uh, all the debris is gone. I got nothing next to me, so now all I have to do is play current. Yeah. Nice. Yep, they're tucked up in there behind some rocks, I think. Waiting for bait to come by, and they found mine. Oh man, this is a blast, but I am getting worn out. I'm gonna get all this mess figured out here. Probably have to recast those too. Rebate everything. All right, I think that's gonna be a wrap. Well, I know it's a wrap because I'm back in my truck. I hope you guys enjoyed that episode. It started off freaking chaotic and turned out to be a really good day. It really slowed down towards the end, but man, that was what you come down here for. I hope I hope it was as fun to watch as it was to do. Thanks again for watching, and I'm going to keep these videos coming.